We're going to be tearing into the carburetor of a 1956 Ford 600 tractor. This tractor ran like a top, but it sat around without pure gas in it, and as you can see, it started acting up. Okay. Today's project. 1956 Ford 600 carburetor. Has fallen victim to bad gas. This gas smells terrible. Let's get this thing cleaned up and get it taken apart. Different size screws there. This ethanol absorbs the moisture out of the air and it just wreaks havoc on your system. Take this jet out, it's a three ace. On your jets, you got little holes. Let me try to focus in. You can see through the holes on some of them some of them are hard to see through that's because they're partially stopped up and so what we're going to do is take a tip cleaner and we're going to rod all those holes out and that way the fuel can make it through into the air mixture a guitar string will work a wire brush poking wires through it will work but you want to clean all of the you can see it's clean that direction we are going to clean it again now now you can see through those two on that side this side has four and now you can see through those so that one is clean. So this thing should work good. You wanna make sure the float bowl is clean because you may have heard it called a sediment bowl. And the reason it's called sediment bowl is it, the solids collects in there and then that can get sucked up into your jets. So we're gonna blow the jets out there where the jet goes in. We're going to take this and this out. All right, see where the fuel goes through? We wanted to blow that out. This is just a water drain. We're not going to take that out. It's a plug. You can see it in the bottom of the bowl there. Now that's good. If you have water in it, take it out. Get the water out before you ever try to start your tractor. But we've blown this out. I'm going to put this back in. So our plug's in. This thing is nice and clean. I'm going to turn right around the edge by this mechanism here. We're going to put the jet back in. So we got our 3 8 
Tighten that up just a little bit, doesn't take much. All right, that looks good. Dry off. And then we're gonna look at the upper half, the floats and all that good stuff. We're gonna clean up the top half. Just make sure everything's looking good there. Okay, to test the float. See how it's coming through? Okay, if the float is up and because the bowl is full, it shuts off, so it's got positive shut off. And of course, we're blowing through. This is, would represent the carb empty, and then it would slowly or go close. And the, so the float is functioning correctly. I'll take this out. that back in. All right, so we know the float is shutting off properly. It looks good. Uh, put it back together. This, this could use some new gaskets. Doing this for a friend named Harold. I don't know if he has new gaskets. For the sake of testing it, we're gonna fill the bowl with the cleaner. We're gonna put it all back together. And we're gonna use compressed air, and we're gonna blow through it, and that will tell us if this, in an application where it was actually running, if it will pull fuel. And that way we know ahead of time that we've got it working and don't waste our time putting it back on the tractor without it functioning. We want it to work right the first time. Do your future self a favor and use pure gas and you won't be tearing carburetors apart. Ethanol absorbs moisture out of the air and then it just becomes useless fuel because it no longer functions and then it just crystallizes and gets crap everywhere inside your carburetors. It works in your cars because you're not leaving a tank full of gas for months at a time. You're burning through it and putting fresh in, so you're, you're always going through it. Ethanol was a terrible idea to subsidize to put in fuel. You shouldn't burn what, what you eat, and people eat corn, animals eat corn, so therefore it should not be used as a fuel. Okay, to know if your carburetor cleaning that you've done is going to work, you, you have your fuel bowl full of non-flammable. You don't want to put gas in it for this test. Take compressed air and blow in. And this is an updraft carburetor. This is where the air comes in. It puts the fuel mixture in and goes into the engine here. So. We should see fuel air mixture come through here. So here we go. The blowing in the air represents the engine running. I'm gonna do that in slow motion so you can see it better. So next we just have to drain, empty the fuel bowl out again. I'm just gonna loosen this up. And we're draining the cleaner out. We're gonna take the drain 
off the carburetor float bowl. We're gonna let this thing drain out. The question that I have on this is what happened to the needle. Look at this needle. Can you see it moving? It's not straight at all. So this has been removed and somebody didn't have it in the jet like it's supposed to be and it's so it's bent terribly now all right so i'm rolling the jet and you can see it's it's bent i've already straightened it out some and i'm showing you how i did it so i went from an angle this angle to be exact rolled it and then i would look and see where it would go high And then when I got to the high spot, like right there's still a slight high spot. So push down. Oh no, I went too far. try to put the jet back in okay it's going in now I'm gonna put it right about there I'm gonna give Harold a call and tell him we're done with his carburetor we're gonna clean his fuel filter put it on the carburetor like that but the gasket's really in bad shape hopefully that holds up for him ready yeah by my channel and watching this video don't forget to check out some of my other videos and like share and subscribe have a nice day